Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston, and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. Yes, yes indeed, we are back. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. Now, I received this question a lot in the comments, and I wanted to bring this up for you guys, because I felt it's important to let you know what exactly we are working with, because I believe that information is valuable, and it's important for us to at least know what we have to play with, you know what I mean? So that's why I think it's important that we know exactly what is happening around us and know exactly, you know, what we have to, as individuals, so we can at least know, oh, so this person was this person or that person was that, you know what I mean? So we can at least be aware of what is around us. So what is it exactly that I'm speaking about? Well, it's like this. As Jamaicans, we are absolutely everywhere on this globe. According to the United Nations, in a study in 2016, they found at least one Jamaican in every single country in the world. Now, I didn't say every single island or every single territory. I said every single country in the world. So the 193 countries that are in the world. Yes, you have over 240 lands, but there's 190 three countries in the world, like Martinique and Guadeloupe are not countries. No, they are departments of France, so they're technically France. So what am I getting at here? The point is this, Jamaicans spread their seed all across the globe. I was in the Middle East and I saw with my own eyes Jamaicans. Yes, in a part of the globe which is not only sparsely populated as well, which is sparsely populated as well. So to find Jamaicans, even in a sparsely populated place, in the tallest building in the world, it was just absolutely fantastic from that perspective. So I figured, let's look at the hex, hex the, the hexagon. I'm thinking back in the days, like we had six teams. <laughs> let's look at the octagon, shall we? Let's look at the octagon and see which players from each team have Jamaican heritage. And I'll tell you a little bit of information for, about each team. So if you look at the, the teams that are actually in the hexagon, only Mexico and El Salvador currently don't have players that have Jamaican roots. Well, quite recently, we are aware about, well, I knew for the past two decades about Melvin Brown of Mexico. But in this current Mexican squad, no player of Jamaican heritage. I'll, I'll keep on checking, guys, but still none at this point in time with Jamaican links heritage. So I figured let's start with the Canadian national teams, shall we? Daniil Henry, central defender, can operate also as a right back. We remember that he spent some time at West Ham United as well in the Premier League in England. The man is Jamaican to the bone. What he eats, he sleeps, eats, sleeps, breathes being a Jamaican, and his parents lets him know that every single day. Kamal Miller, Kyle Lauren, Jamaican parents, Junior Hoylett, the closest in this list that could have represented Jamaica. Captain Burrell was in dialogue with his father up until 2011, 2012 thereabouts. But at that time, it appeared that Hoylett was still harboring ambitions of representing England, especially during his time at Blackburn Rovers, when he was really coming into his own as a professional football player. And as we know, Junior Hoylett is representing Canada and even scored against Jamaica in the quarterfinals of the CONCACAF Gold Cup in 2017. It was a brilliant goal too. Jamaica won that game 2-1. And now we'll get the opportunity to face Junior Hoylett. So it'll be interesting to see the sort of reaction. Well, not reaction, but to see the sort of emotions he would give coming up against playing against the land of his heritage. Tejan Buchanan, let me tell you something. This guy is going to be one of the best players in CONCACAF, if not the, one of the best in Europe soon. Let me tell you something. He needs to leave Major League Soccer just like Dwayne Busy Atkinson needs to leave Jamaica. Yeah. Ashton Morgan, Daniel Jebison. Daniel Jebison, the reason why I have an asterisk beside him is because he still can represent Jamaica. Daniel Jebison is, although born in Canada, has represented England at youth level. As you know, at Burton right now, Burton Albion, spent some time at Sheffield United. Daniel Jebison can make an impact for Jamaica as a forward. Still a teenager, so He's certainly an option for us moving forward. So we've completed the Canadian team. Let's now look at the American team, shall we? Sean Johnson, 
who was part of our setup at youth level, under 17, under 20. To this day, I do not know who dropped the ball with Sean Johnson. Nobody seems to be raising their hands. Uh, well, all I can say is nobody likes to, to, to claim their mistakes. But what I can say is that for Sean Johnson's perspective, we dropped the ball because he could have been a, a good understudy to the likes of Ricketts and Miller, to be honest with you. Mark McKenzie, Tim Whale, yeah, the son of the legendary George Whale, Liberia, mother born in Jamaica. Jonathan Lewis, Jamaican heritage, and Nicholas Gioacchini, born to a Jamaican mother. Honduras, Jonathan Nunez, Douglas Martinez, both were born to Jamaican, their maternal side of the family is from Jamaica. Not many Jamaicans in Honduras, but still it goes back to the story regarding the building of the Panama Canal. And in addition to that sort of story, another opportunity that Jamaicans took up in the early 1900s was in agriculture to plant, irrigate in the in the growing of planting and banana in Central America. So Jamaicans went to Central America for these sorts of job opportunities. And you guys will remember the likes of Milton Nunes. You guys will remember David Suazo, David Suazo. Yeah, so their maternal side of the family is Jamaica. Yeah, so Jonathan Nunes, Douglas Martinez on the current Honduras team. So yeah, and now we get to an interesting bit. We're gonna look at Costa Rica and Panama. And when you look at the, the names on Panama's team, which we'll get to quite shortly, it's like reading a list of a starting 11 in a Jamaica Premier League or reading the names of like a registered school. Someone like the name of a man down the road. Literally, literally. Look at Costa Rica's team, Joel Campbell. That does sound like you're bridging from down the road. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys know, Joel Campbell, mother side Jamaican, father side Jamaican. The man is a Christian. He reads Psalms 27 before every single game he plays for club and country. The man is Jamaican to the bone, in a sense that he never forgets where he's coming from. A lot of players, uh, Costa Ricans, Panamanians, they don't know much about their Jamaican heritage as it was their grandfather or great-grandfather, great-grandparents or grandparents that, that came from Jamaica, and they didn't spend a lot of time with them growing up, so they lost a bit of their Jamaican culture. But Joel Campbell's side of the family, he ensured, they ensured, that he knew exactly his heritage. And Joel Campbell has a lot of big respect for Jamaica. So much credit to Joel Campbell for remembering his roots. Keisha Fuller, Kendall Waston. Yes, not Watson, but Waston. Not Watson, but Waston. Yep, Jamaican heritage. Kena Brown and Jalen Haddon. Those are the Costa Ricans with Jamaican heritage. Let's go to Panama now, shall we? And this long list. <laughs> Panama, Eric Davis. Doesn't that sound like your co-worker's name? Doesn't that sound like somebody that you par with on a regular basis? Eric Davis. Sound like a man who lived down the road. <laughs> Eric Davis, yes. Jamaican heritage. Andres Andrade. Andrade. Yes. His mother's side, Jamaican. Cesar Blackman. Yes. Father side. Carlos Harvey. Father side. Rolanda Blackburn. The same man was score against for Wadi. Father side. Alfredo Stevens. His father side. Harold Cummings. His father side. Armanda Cooper. From father side. Victor Griffith. His father side. Omar Brown. From father side. Ricardo Clark. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Ricardo Clark. Ricardo Clark sounds like a man who just come up. We, we live down the road. Come on. Ricardo Clark. And the reason why I have an asterisk behind the name Newton Williams is, look at this. I want to show you guys something. Let me show you guys Newton. See if I can bring up a picture. Yeah. Of Newton. Newton Williams, may I tell you, man. This is Newton Williams, guys. That's Newton for you. That's Newton Williams. You must say the Jamaican in that. I'm sure you do. 
that is Newton. So there we go. Currently, and the reason why I have an asterisk beside Newton Williams' name is that he's never, he hasn't represented Panama at the senior level, neither did he do at junior level, but he still remains eligible for us. If you guys want me to do a video on if we should call up Newton Williams, then let me know your thoughts in the comments below because he would be eligible for a Jamaican passport through his grandparents. So if you want me to do a separate video on Newton Williams, then let me know your thoughts in the comments below about that. So if you were to count up the list, Panama, because Newton hasn't been called up uh, to represent, he's been named in a provisional Gold Cup squad, but he has never been called up to represent Panama. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen for Panama. Let's count again. Three, six, nine, twelve for Panama. I need to go back to school. <laughs> Five for Costa Rica. Two for Honduras. Six for the United States. And seven for Canada. So Panama has the most players in their squad are in the mix with Jamaican roots. Would you look at that? Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this sort of information intriguing to you? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content on this channel. Take care, guys.